Hi, boys and girls. Tonight, I'm going to read to you, Get Your Dragon to Try New Things. It was written and drawn by Steve Herman. Now, look at Dragon's face right there. Does he look very happy? He says, no, I don't want to try it. I don't want to. So let's find out how he learns to try new things. Hello, my name is Drew. You'll never guess what I have got. Here's a hint. He's kind of scaly and his breath is fiery hot. That's right, it's a dragon. Wait, there's no need to run away. Didgeridoo is very tame and he hopes you'll stay and play. I got him long ago, back when he was still quite small. He wasn't hard to train, not difficult at all. First, we worked on Didgeridoo's temper. He learned not to lose it. And when it came to dragon breath, he learned the proper way to use it. He's handy on a camping trip to keep your campfire lit. Or candles on a birthday cake. He's helpful, I admit. Then Didri learned he must control the urge to flap his wings when he made my mother mad by breaking all her things. But being open-minded and trying something new may be the biggest challenge Didri ever had to do. I don't want to do that! A dragon's most hard-headed and prone to throw a fit if you change up his routine even just a bit. His favorite food was pizza, pepperoni, extra cheese. He refused to eat broccoli. He said, they look like trees. So he slid it underneath the meat loaf. He thought that he could hide it. Did you do? I scolded. You haven't even tried it. When did you started school? There were kids he didn't know. I encouraged him to meet them. Just go and say hello. But did you wouldn't do it. Didgeridoo was much too shy. He was scared to make new friends, but I couldn't imagine why. No, he says. I took him to the swimming pool, but he would not get in. He needed swimming lessons, and I felt he should begin. It's time to learn to swim, I said. This pool's the perfect spot. But Didri shook his head and said, I'd really rather not. Didgeridoo, what's wrong with you? Can you tell me why? Whatever I, I suggest, you refuse to even try. Didgeridoo said, I understand, and I know you're probably right, but doing something different gives me such an awful fright. Then he said, I'll tell you what. Here's what I think I'll do. I'll wait until I'm ready when I'm faced with something new. Tomorrow, please. Why be in a rush when there's no need for me to hurry? I'll try something new tomorrow, I promise. Don't you worry. I asked, what if the chance does not present itself again? If now is not the time, didgeridoo, then when? When opportun opportunity comes knocking, you need to answer fast. You can never know for sure just how long the chance will last. The time to try new food is when mom puts it on your plate. Who knows? You might like it. You may even think it's great. Mmm, it's delicious, he says. And you can make new friends if you get over being shy. Don't hesitate or wait too late. The chance could pass you by. And think of all the fun you miss when fear gets in the way. You'll regret tomorrow what you refuse today. This kid's saying he loves vegetables. And when the chance presents to learn a brand new skill, do not answer, no, I won't but be brave and say, I will. Try it, I will. It's so fun. So 
So Didri left his comfort zone and overcame his fears. Hip, hip, hooray for Didri, do. Encourage him with cheers. It's okay to be afraid or wish that things won't change, but don't refuse to take a chance just because it's strange. Here's a little lesson that I think you ought to know. That I, If you never take a chance, then you're never going to grow. Although you have may have doubts about trying something new, I'll bet you'll find it's worth it. Just ask Didri, too. The end. So today, boys and girls, I would like you to try something new. I've been meeting a lot of you lately on my walks that don't want to try vegetables. They don't like them. Guess what? I saw, thought the same thing when I was a little kid, but they're so tasty. They're so good. Or maybe I've met some of you that don't like certain fruits. Well, can you just pick one out when you're at the store with mom or dad or when they ask you what you want and try a bite? You know what? High five to you if you can try one thing new today. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the new things you try. They might make you really happy.